Burgle Bros is a cooperative game for one to four players. Players are members of the Burgle Bros, an elite crew that can pull off impossible heists. Your mission is to get in and out without getting caught. There are many types of alarms and patrolling guards to avoid. If anyone gets caught, it's all over. Find the safes, crack them, and get to the roof to escape. In this job, you're hitting up a high-end bank. Scattered across the floors, there's various safes with priceless loot that you're trying to procure. Shuffle the tools, loot, and event decks individually, placing them to the side face down. Next, you will construct the bank building. Each floor contains one safe and one stairway. Find the three safe tiles and three stairway tiles and set them aside. Shuffle the remaining 42 floor tiles and create three decks of 14 tiles each, one for each floor. Place one safe tile and one stair tile into each of those decks. Then shuffle and deal each deck face down into a 4x4 grid to represent a floor of the bank. Place eight wall pieces between tiles of each floor, as indicated in the diagram in the rules. The bank job. Separate and shuffle 48 patrol cards into three piles of 16 cards each, based on their indicated floor. Place one pile near each floor. These are the patrol decks. Put a guard piece and a red guard die next to each patrol deck. The guards start with the following numbers showing on their dice. Two on the first floor, three on the second floor, and four on the third floor. To win, Open all three safes and escape with the loot through the stairs on the third floor to the roof without getting caught. Each player gets a random character card. You choose which side of the character card to use for the current game. Then you'll take your corresponding character token and three stealth tokens. Reveal the top card of the first floor patrol deck and place the first guard token on the corresponding tile. Then, you and your accomplices choose any tile spot on the first floor. Your team will enter through this tile. Reveal that card and mark it as an entrance with a downstairs token. On your first turn of the game, place your meeple on the entrance. Starting on the entrance does not trigger any effects of the card, such as setting off an alarm. Note, the guard will move after each player's turn. Reveal the next card on the first floor's patrol deck. Place this first floor's guard's die on the tile shown on that card. This is the guard's destination, so keep out of his path to avoid losing a stealth token. The player who has most recently taken money out of the bank goes first. To win, open all three safes and escape with the loot through the stairs on the top floor without getting caught. On each turn, you will take up to four actions, and then check four events, if you take two or fewer actions, that is and then you move the guard on your current floor. Turns proceed clockwise from the first player. Peek at a tile action. Reveal an adjacent room. You do not enter that tile, and the tile is permanently revealed to all players. You may not peek diagonally or through walls. You must verbally declare whether you're peeking or moving before revealing the tile. Peeking is a safe way to find alarms without activating them but it takes longer than moving. Move to a tile. Move to an adjacent tile. You may not move diagonally or through walls. If you move onto a tile that has a guard in it, you must discard one stealth token. If you must spend a stealth token and do not have one, you lose the game. You can take actions while in a tile with a guard without losing additional stealth tokens. Only moving causes you to lose stealth tokens. You can move to a tile even if it has not yet been revealed, but that's riskier than peeking first. If you move to a tile that has not been revealed, reveal the tile, flipping it over, and follow its text as part of your move action. Some tiles, like stop tiles and alarm tiles, have requirements for moving on to them. Stop tiles. You may not enter this tile. You remain on your previous tile. This doesn't count as re-entering the previous tile. Alarm tiles. You successfully move to this tile, but you trigger an alarm. The guard on your floor will come to investigate the alarm. If the guard is currently in the alarm tile with you, you do not trigger the alarm. 
When you move to a floor that does not have a guard set up, immediately place that floor's guard and destination using the initial setup rules. Hack a computer. Add one hack token to the computer tile you are in. You must be in a computer tile to hack. Each computer tile can hold up to six hack tokens. When any player triggers an alarm, they may choose to discard a hack token to cancel the alarm instead. The hack token's tile must match the type of alarm, fingerprint, laser, or motion. Hack tokens can cancel alarms on any floor regardless of the computer tile's location. Add a die to the safe costs two actions. Place a die on the safe tile you are in. This costs two of your four actions, and you cannot spread these two actions across multiple turns. Safe tiles start with no dice on them, so you must add at least one dice before you can crack the safe. Each safe can have a maximum of six dice on them. You can take the added dice action even if you've already placed all the dice included with the game. Use some other tokens to track how many dice are on each safe tile. Crack a safe. Roll all the dice that have been added to the safe you are in. Before you can crack a safe, you must first discover the combination. Use the peek or move actions to reveal all six tiles in the same row and same column as the safe, and check the number in the bottom right corner of the tiles. All of those numbers make up the combination. If the number of any die matches the combination number on a revealed tile, cover that tile's number with a crack token. One die can match multiple tiles, even if the number was only rolled on a single die. You don't need to know the entire combination before you start trying to crack the safe, but you place a crack token only on the tiles that are revealed when you roll. If you finish cracking the safe, in other words, all six numbers of the combination have crack tokens on them, do the following. Draw a tool card from the tool deck. Draw a loot card from the loot deck. Permanently add one to the movement of each guard on your current floor, and any floors below your current floor. Rotate the guard die for each of these guards to show their new movement speed. They know the safe has been cracked, and they're on the lookout for you now. If you did not finish cracking the safe, return all the dice to the safe tile. You can roll them again with a later action. Check for events. After you finish your actions, if you use two or fewer actions, you must draw an event card and follow its text. Some events are helpful to the Burgle Bros, but others may cause more problems. You may not avoid drawing an event card by simply moving back and forth between tiles. Move the guard. After your actions and events are complete, move the guard piece on your current floor, not the guards on the other floors. If the guard moves onto a tile with a player, that player must discard one stealth token. The guard's movement is the number showed on the guard dice. The guard moves that many tiles on this turn. If any alarms are currently active, the guard's movement speed is temporarily increased by one for each active alarm. The guard's movement speed is set when the guard starts to move, so alarms triggered or deactivated during the guard's movement don't change the guard's movement speed. The guard's destination is always the tile that contains the guard's die. The destination is originally set by the patrol card revealed from the patrol deck, but alarms can move the guard die, and with it the guard's destination. The guard always takes the shortest possible path to the destination. If more than one path is equally short, the guard will take the path that is most clockwise when the shortest paths are viewed together. Like the Burgle Bros, guards cannot move diagonally or through walls. Unlike the Burgle Bros, guards ignore all special movement rules on tiles such as deadbolt or walkaway tiles, because guards have security clearance. When the guard arrives at the destination marked by the guard die, Reveal the next patrol card and place the guard die on the location shown on the patrol card. If the guard still has remaining movement speed, continue moving the guard towards the new destination. If you trigger another alarm in another tile, place an alarm token in that tile, but always keep the floor's guard die with the closest alarm token to the guard. In other words, the guard will always move towards the closest alarm first. If alarms are equally close, the players choose which alarm the guard moves toward first. 
When the guard enters a tile with an alarm, the alarm token is removed because the guard deactivates the alarm. After the guard removes all alarm tokens from the floor, reveal a new patrol card to set the guard's next destination as normal. When you would draw a card from the patrol deck, but the patrol deck is empty, shuffle that floor's discard pile to form a new patrol deck. If playing with fewer than four players, discard the appropriate number of cards for your player count. Rotate that floor's guard die to permanently increase the guard's movement speed by one to a maximum of six. Reveal a new patrol card to see the guard's next destination as normal. Once you have cracked all the safes and have all the loot, you can move from the top floor's stairs to get to the roof. After you escape from the top floor, you don't take any more turns. When all the players have escaped, the Burgle Bros have successfully completed this heist. You win! At any point, if you don't have any more stealth tokens, your entire group loses. The Burgle Bros get caught and thrown into jail. And this has been how you play Burgle Bros. Hey, my name's Kyle McCarley. I'm a voice actor by trade, but board games are one of my favorite hobbies. If you like board games, you should check out The Board and Barrel every Friday night at 7.30 Pacific on twitch.tv slash kylemccarley, where me and my buddies play board games. We also give you guys a chance to help us or hurt us, depending on how you feel, with our buff and nerf house rules. And we have virtual bingo cards you can fill out while you're watching the show. It's a good time. Hope to see you there.